Right, that should be it. That should be our thousandth kill. There we go. 1,000 kills. So let's go show Rance that bow. And uh, we should take off another diary step. All right, we'll show Rance the marks and the bow. And there we go. We've completed an elite task. Cool. Right, we've got two more to do. One is the pickpocket and elf, which we will do next. And then we need to get 93 Slayer for the last one. And then we can get revived once a day at Zulra. So let's go pickpocket and elf. Right, there we go, that's another diary step done. We just need to do the level 93 Slayer one, so we can leave it that for now, and finally tick away at 93 Slayer. Right, let's get another task from Steve. 67 elves, not too bad. I think we can do those in the elf dungeon as well, and get some more shards. Fair enough, um, an enhanced teleport crystal seed. I'm pretty sure that means that it never runs out of charges once we've uh, charged it with our crystal shards. Was it 2.2 mil? Not bad, pretty decent. Right, that is the elves done. What's gonna be next from Steve? 85 drakes, I really can't be bothered. I really should at some point, but it's not like I've got holy sandals to worry about anyway, so um, yeah, we'll cancel those. Next one, 96 worms. We need a harpoon, to be honest, so we'll have to do those. Right, got a hard clue casket. Let's see what we get. Bandos this time, and a magic combo. Cool. Right, that's worms done, and no dragon harpoon, unfortunately. Let's see what we get next. 150 Dagonoth. Uh, yeah, we'll do those, why not? Hey, finally, 85 KC, we get our bottomless compost bucket. About time. Right, got a medium casket to open. Let's see what we get. Never nah, lucky. Right, Dagonoth's done. Let's see what's next. 237 Bloodvilles. That is really easy. Right, Bloodvilles done. What's next? 131 Calphites. Not bad. Right, Calphites done. What's next? Four Rune Dragons. Go away. Another 131 Calphites. Not bad. Right, Calphites done again. What is next? Addy Dragons go away. 136 Aviancies. Not really fancying that this morning. 109 Worms, that'll do. I think after this task we'll go to Duradel and uh, see what he can offer us instead. Right, Worms done, let's see what's next. 57 Drakes, really? I'm not going to do it, Duradel, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> right, try again. 14 Black Dragons, we'll go do the babies nice and easy. Right, Black Dragons done, what is next? 189 Great Demons, um, yeah, I might as well do those to be fair in the catacombs. Right, task done, let's see what's next from Duradel. 132 Dark Beasts, let's get our Dark Bow. Right, superior dark beast, let's see what we get. Never lucky. Just missed level, but we got 97 hit points. Two away from our first 99 on the account. Right, another dark beast superior, let's see what we get. Hey, a clue scroll. Right, I don't know why we've not done this yet, but we're going to upgrade our basic jewellery box to a fancy one. So we have a lot more teleports now we can access pretty easily. Right, got a hard clue casket from the last task. Absolutely nothing. Hey, new PB for the Hespori, 50 seconds, not too bad. See what we get? Never lucky. Right, Dark Beast done, let's see what we get next from Duradel. 20 Fossil Island Wyverns, easy peasy. Right, Fossil Island Wyverns done, let's see what's next. Not doing Aviancies. Try again, Duradel. 190 Cave Kraken, easy peasy. Hopefully get some more Kraken tentacles. Well, there we go, uh, our third trident. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Shout out to Flair. Uh, it seems to be every time someone comes on my Slayer task, I get a drop. Jay was here last time, we got the Basilisk Jaw, and this time Flair's here, and we get a Trident of the Seas. Nice. Hey, 809 KC and another Kraken Tentacle. Nice. <laughs> We're getting super lucky on this Kraken task, I swear. Got a jar of dirt now. We just need the pet and then we've uh, completed Kraken and we're on 826 KC. I don't even think I have the jar of dirt on my main account. Pretty cool. So it's uh, been a while since we got our last den item. I'm not going to lie, I've completely forgot that it was there. Um, so <laughs> we're going to buy some more Chaos Runes and then sell them and then get an Onyx and uh, make our bracelet. Because uh, we might as well use it. We're, we're, we're doing Mage now and it'd be more important, I, sp I suppose, to use the bracelet instead of our barrels gloves so we are going to do that um we've got quite a lot of battle staffs to make so we can get the money back pretty easily so yeah we'll uh, we draw a couple of mil go buy a lot of chaos runes and then uh, sell them and then get ourselves an onyx and make our bracelet so i'll be back when that is done all right we've got our zenite bracelet and if we cast enchant on it there we go we have a tormented bracelet now this will give us quite a big boost in magic so if we unequip everything else 
just equip that. We get a plus 10 magic in attack bonus and plus 5 in the other bonuses and plus 2 prayer. So when we wear the rest of our gear when we're killing Kraken, and obviously we can use it for Zulra, we've got a bit of a, a bigger magic attack bonus. So now we've got this, we can carry on our Kraken task. We've only got 42 kills left, I think, or 43. Um, and then I think we're going to go to Azulra and use it there until we get 100kc. Right, Kraken task done. Let's see what we get next. 186 fire giants, not bad at all. But for now, we are going to try and get ourselves 100kc at Zulra. We're on 85 at the moment, so uh, hopefully we can get that without dying because we are one step away from getting the Elite Diary done, which is a 93 Slayer step. So yeah, we'll go and try and get 100kc and uh, yeah, see if we are lucky. Right then, this is our gear for Zulu. I'm probably forgetting something because I haven't done it in so long. But uh, that's our range switch. Can't switch it now because um, we don't have enough free spaces. But hopefully it'll go pretty well and we can get off from 85kc to 100kc. And then we'll leave it there until we get the diary, diary done because it would be really annoying if we are one step away from the diary and we die to Zulra. So <laughs> let's wish us good luck and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get lucky. And there we go, that is 100 kills of Zulra done. The only unique we've got so far is the helm, which is pretty nice to be fair, helps us out while we're killing Zulra. But we are going to stop there for now and just power out uh, 93 Slayer because, as we've mentioned previously about 100 times, that is our last step on the Elite Diary. And once we have the Elite Diary, we get a free revive each day. I'm not intending to, like, purposely use the revive each day when we get it, but it's just nice to have um, if we mess up. And, uh, yeah, we die, then we don't actually lose the hardcore status, which is pretty nice. So, we're going to leave it there for now with Zulra. Uh, obviously, using our new Tormented Bracelet as well. Pretty decent. So, we will, I think, do a farm run and then go back to Slayer. Right, Fire Giant's done. Let's see what's next. 240 Gargoyles. Easy money. We are currently 189k away from 92 Slayer. So, we're getting closer and closer. Trying to do as many tasks as we can per day. Gonna speed it up and get that 93 Slayer as quick as possible. But we've got Gargoyles next, so let's go to them straight away and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get quite a lot of money. Right, Gargoyles done, let's see what's next. 13 Black Dragons, that is absolutely fine, we'll go kill the babies. Right, Black Dragons done, let's see what's next. 163 Blue Dragons, that'll be easy. Right, Great Demons done, let's see what's next. Another 166 Blue Dragons, let's get these done. Right, Blue Dragon's done. 419 tasks, so we'll get the next one from Kona. Let's see what we get. Hellhounds in Tavoli Dungeon. Could potentially do Cerberus, but our best crush weapon is only our Leaf Bladed Battle Axe, unfortunately. And I am on a bit of a mission to try and get as much Slayer XP as possible, so we're just going to power through normal Hellhounds and try and get to 93 Slayer ASAP. Got a hard clue casket from the Hellhounds that we're doing. Oh, Blue Dehyde Chaps G, and nothing else. Alright, hard casket from last task, let's see what we get. Holy blessing, and a Sarah on page 4, let's see if we can fit it in. Right, let's see if this page 4 fits. Nope, it's page 2 that we need, unfortunately, not page 4, never mind. Right, let's get another task, let's see what we get. 169 elves, let's go. We're also 89k away from 92 Slayer, so we're slowly getting there. Right, elves done, let's see what's next. 168k of horrors, that'll be really nice and AFK and quite a lot of herb supplies I think, so we'll go and do those. Right, cave horrors done, got ourselves a black mask as well. Let's see what's next. 117 worms, nice and easy, hopefully we can get that dragon harpoon. So we've got 117 worms and yesterday they released an update which um, introduced superior worms, so I'm not really sure how to kill those but we'll uh, we'll give it a try, apparently the max hit is 27, so if I get one I'll whack on the recorder and uh, yeah we'll see what we get. Right then there we go, worms are done, didn't get any superiors unfortunately or a dragon harpoon but never mind, we'll go back to Jiradel and get another task. Right let's get another task from Jiradel. 214 Abyssal Demons, not too bad, we can do those in Catacombs, hopefully get some more shards. Right, to speed up our Slayer grind a little bit, we are going to burst this Abyssal Demon task. We've got our darts, and this is our mage set up pretty decent now. We've got our Tormented Bracelet and Imbued Seer's Ring, so uh, yeah, hopefully this task shouldn't take too long. Alright, we've got a Superior Abyssal Demon, let's see what we get from it. Hey, Eternal Gem, get in. That is huge. And Dark Totem top, nice. Cool, right, we just need um, the imbued heart. And then I think we've got all of the drops we can get some superiors. Right, Abyssal Demon's done with our Eternal Gem. Let's see what we get next. 
191 avances. Uh, nah, I need something fast. We need fast task, Gerardo. That'll do for sand wyverns, because we are only 5.8k from 92 Slayer. Right, we might as well use this Eternal Gem and make it into an Eternal Ring. There we go. Now, if we rub that, we can teleport and use this as many times as we want. It'll never run out of charges, so we never ever have to replace it, which is pretty damn good. So, even though we had 177 to go, um, we've got this one now, so we can just use that forever. Pretty decent. Just missed a level, but we've got 92 Slayer, so we are one level away. We are only 678k away from getting at 93 and completing our diary step. So, we'll finish this task and then get another one and then carry on our Slayer grind. Alright, there we go. That is the Fossil Island Wyverns task done. Let's go get another one. Right, let's see what we get next. 241 Gargoyles. Easy peasy and a lot of money. Right, I'm going to end the episode here. We've achieved some decent things. Obviously, 92 Slayer, so we're one level away from 93 and that diary step. Also got ourselves the Eternal Gem, making ourselves the Eternal Slayer Ring, which is pretty cool. We only need the Imbued Heart, and then we are done with Superiors, I think. So yeah, hopefully by the end of next episode, we will be at 93 Slayer, or getting increasingly close to 93 Slayer. Once we hit 93 Slayer, um, we are going to camp Zilra uh, every day until we die or we don't die. Because if we die, then we just get revived, so it's not an issue. So yeah, once we've camped Zulra, we'll get ourselves Blowpipe and the upgraded Trident. Once we have our Blowpipe and our upgraded Trident, then we can do pretty much anything. Um, probably chuck in a lot of raids, we've not really done that many raids yet. Only done 21 completions and got two uh, preserves, so apart from that we've got nothing else. Obviously for raids, a Dragon Hunt Crossbow, Ancestral, Twisted Bow, Kodai, you know, all useful and obviously the Prey Scroll is really useful as well. But after that I think we'll probably start going to some God Wars, we need the Zamrock and Hester and uh, Saradome and God Sword would be amazing. So yeah, once we've camped Zulra and got our Blowpipe, etc, probably next stop is God Wars Dungeon. So I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.